My name is Gary Hodgson and I've been involved with radon issues for about 15 years. And I've known that half the homes in my area come in uh, above what they recommend for radon concentrations. There's no way to know without testing, no way to know about which kind of house was built. Uh, so testing is what's important and this video is provided to help you understand why. It has no pattern, no strategy. It doesn't care if you live in a big house or small, in the best part of town or the worst. You can't see it, taste it, or smell it, but it is there. It's radon gas. Radon is a cancer-causing radioactive gas that forms from the natural decay of uranium in the ground below and randomly seeps through your foundation or crawl spaces and into your home. The effects of radon have been known since the 1400s, when underground miners were dying from an unknown lung disease. The connection between lung cancer and radon was finally made back in the 1950s. Today, scientists are more certain about radon risks than risks from any other cancer-causing substances. So exactly how does radon cause lung cancer? But let me go a little bit into alpha particles. Alpha particles, when an atom breaks down, it gives off three things. A gamma particle, a beta particle, and an alpha particle. And this alpha particle, which radon emits in high concentration, that's the bad guy. You breathe in air, the air has radon, the radon gets into the lung. They cause permanent damage to the cells that line these alveoli, which are the little things out at the very end of the lung. We know the direct association between radon and the development of lung cancer. Um, it's, it's a totally imperceivable problem to individuals who are at risk because you don't feel it, you don't smell it, you don't see it. All the major health organizations agree that radon causes thousands of preventable deaths each year. 10 million homes are at risk. That's 38 million people. Exposure in a home that has as little as four picocuries per liter, the EPA action level, is like receiving 200 chest x-rays per year. If you live with radon, you can die from lung cancer. Watch and learn the number one reason to involve a radon professional in your home purchase or sale. See how thousands have already protected their homes with a simple, affordable home repair. Discover the dreadful impact that radon gas has on ordinary people and what we can do in our community to prevent it. Radon is not a myth. Radon is real, and it's killing people. People want to know why they're dying. Their family wants to know why they're dying. And we t always talk about closure, no matter what the situation is. They need to know what happened. And the family needs to know how to prevent this and the other members instead of just relating it to something genetic. These people don't understand it. They come in, they say, well, Dr. Price, how can I have lung cancer? I don't smoke. Nobody ever smokes around me. Why did I get lung cancer? The only thing I can contribute to the uh, losing of my lung is the fact that I had radon in my home and didn't know it. Of course, the first question all of them ask is, do you smoke? And we said no. And right away then he said, what about radon? Most of the lung cancer patients have had a lot of tobacco exposure. 
But the ones that are really sad are these people who have never smoked in their lives. They haven't been around secondhand smoke. They basically have lived good, quote, clean lives, and lo and behold, they have a cold or bronchitis, and a chest x-ray and a CAT scan say, oh, you have lung cancer. Sue Michael, a stay-at-home mom for over 25 years in a house with high radon levels, knows firsthand about the deadly effects of radon gas. In May of 2003, Sue was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. When I went to the oncologist, I knew that it was in the liver and I knew that it was in the lungs and some of the lymph nodes. And then I found out it's also in the bone in three different places. They don't want to ask this question in front of the family, They're trying to protect the family. And they'll say, Doc, tell me the truth. How much longer do you really think I have? To tell the truth, when she told us it was like eight to ten months, my oldest daughter, excuse me, my oldest daughter just said that at least I'd be here for Christmas. Radon is responsible for 22,000 deaths per year in this country. That's 60 Americans dying every day. When compared to annual homicides, alcohol-related car crashes, and AIDS, the seriousness of radon-related deaths commands attention. That's a lot of people. When you, when you put it into perspective, um, that's more patients developing cancer due to radon than due to prostate cancer, due to some of the leukemias that we see, and uh, due to some of the bone cancers that we see, and childhood cancers. If only people would just realize that a simple radon test could avoid such horrific tragedies. But so many people procrastinate or just don't want to be bothered. I would say you better be bothered. I would say you don't know what's in your basement. There may be something in your basement that can do a lot of harm to you and your family, and so you need to be bothered. I wish somebody would have told me 10 years ago that, that radon gas was here, because I guarantee you I would have had the test done. How much is a life worth? We, 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 need, we need to get the word out. The awareness level has to be raised. No one should have to suffer through the pain and torture of one of the worst diseases we know, especially when it's preventable. Let me paint a picture of a patient who's had lung cancer for a while and is in a relatively advanced stage. They're carrying an oxygen tank with them at all times. They're um, uh, malnourished. Physically, what they're dealing with is gasping for breath, to put it very simply. Any type of lung cancer related to a radon issue, we have a lot of fibrotic tissue or scar tissue that begins to build because we're having insidious cell growth that takes over space. That space is responsible for exchange of oxygen into the body. If it isn't there, meaning the space itself, what we actually end up with is a person who suffocates. The EPA recommends that all homes get tested and if you've already tested your home and the results came back high, relax. Like thousands of other families have learned, fixing it is simple. Homes that test high for radon gas can easily be fixed forever. It's usually a matter of one day's work, minimal intrusion to your home, and it doesn't cost that much either. Essentially what we're doing is we pour through the floor and then we put four inch white PVC pipe down into those holes after clearing a pocket underneath the slab and interconnect those, run them through to the outside, put a fan on the outside and what that does is it takes soil air from underneath the slab and somewhat from the core of the block because we have concrete block in this area. It'll take from both of those and vent that to the outside before it can get in. For those of you in real estate, insist on professional radon testing to protect your clients and reduce your liability. Builders and architects, surely you'll want to plan and build radon-resistant houses. You will attract more consumers as they are becoming increasingly aware that radon is a health risk 
This gives them one more reason to invest with you. Additionally, mitigation systems increase indoor air quality and will decrease other pollutants. In addition to preventing radon from entering the home, a radon mitigation system is also going to prevent other damp soil gases from entering as well. And that's going to reduce the likelihood of humidity, mold, mildew, pesticides, methanes, volatile organic compounds. The likelihood of other indoor air quality problems being in your home is reduced. Healthcare professionals and educators, please contact your local community sponsor or the National Radon Association, AARST, for easy to read brochures and pamphlets to share with your patients and students. The value that you will add to your professionalism, your practice, and your community is immeasurable. EPA tells us that we spend about 90% of our time indoors. That means that we're exposed to an awful lot of things indoors, and if radon is present in unhealthy levels, that puts us at enormous risk for lung cancer for our future. The American Lung Association has been fighting lung cancer through helping people quit smoking for a long time. And radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. So we're absolutely committed and we feel that other groups ought to be as committed to helping prevent exposure to radon by testing your homes and fixing the homes if radon is found. First, test your own home. Your community sponsor can answer your questions about radon. Next, tell your family, friends, and neighbors to test their homes. Then make a difference by helping your community sponsor find future opportunities to share this message with others. Finally, become a community sponsor yourself. Someone cared enough to share this message with you about the dangers of radon exposure. Pass it on. 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 As you've just seen, radon is a very serious problem to deal with. Please do something about it and let's get together on that.